What's up guys and welcome to another day of fishing with Fred. Today we're in my truck and we're going to hit the road. We're going to use Google Maps to find some new spots. Get the boat man it's time to go. Grab your baits and fishing poles. Fill the tank and then hit. So guys, I went to get my pole fixed at uh, this shop a couple towns over, and one of the kids working there uh, told me about this pond over over by uh, Strathmore High School. So we're just gonna find it on Google Maps and make our way over there. Hey guys, I made it to the high school in Strathmore. Now it's time to find this pond. Looks like it's gonna be a little harder than I thought. drive through this field but I think that's how you get there there's no there's no no trespassing signs no do not enter signs so so I hope I'm going the right way if not whatever and I have hit a dead end back to maps all right guys so it kind of looks like it's right there so let's walk over there and see See if that's it. I don't want to take my stuff if it's not, so let's just go take a gander. Snake heaven right here, man. Looks like a little water bowl, but doesn't look like much water in there. Dried up. I think it's way dry up. I don't think there's any water in it at all. Kind of sucks. Let's flip you guys around so I can show you the. No water. No water. No water. I'm gonna be pretty bummed if that was the pond and it's already dried out. Cause I really wanted to fish there. But hopefully it's not it and there's still water in it, wherever it is. So guys, I guess if I would have kept walking, I would have got to that to the pond. But I thought that little irrigation runoff thing was, was a spot, but I guess not. So I'm going to get my stuff and keep going. That's why it's good to use Google Maps because you got that satellite image. I might not even fished right now. I might have left somewhere else, so good tool so yeah today I just wanted to show you how useful Google Maps was because like I said if I didn't look right now I would have thought that pond that the kid told me about was dried up. And I probably would have went to a pond I know has water in it. And not fished a new spot, so. 
think about ne that next time you guys go out and try to find a new spot. All right, guys, so I got to the pond, but there's a finch right here, so looks like these guys found a way in, so I'm gonna ask them how they got their truck in there. Hey, you guys fishing? You guys fishing? How do you guys get in there? Is this right there by the high school fence? All right, right on, thanks. Cool, so I guess I'm gonna walk back to the truck. Park right next to the pond instead of all this walking stuff. So, see you guys there. Alright guys, so this place looks pretty promising. Let's go talk to these guys real quick. Thanks guys for showing me the right way in. <laughs> yep. Is there any fish in here? Big one, man. Some bass? Big bass. Right on. Well, I'm going to get my line wet and see what happens. Yeah, Thanks right for on. the info, guys. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so those two guys are really nice. And they told me there's potentially eight pounders in this pond. So I'm going to throw the whopper pop around, cover some water, see if I can get a hit. So I'm moving try to find these fish. Just walking around exploring this new pond. And this looks like a cool spot. So I'm definitely gonna flip and pitch this a little later. So let's keep on walking. There's a lot of like little secret little holes in here. And it's a lot of water, so I don't want to stay in one spot too long. Oh well, I'm seeing more life over on this side of the pond, so it's a good sign. Those guys said they haven't caught anything yet. I'm definitely gonna fish right here. This is this is where they're at right here. It's bugs, turtles. This is where the most life I've seen so far, so I'm gonna go get my poles. I'm gonna fish right here. It never gets 
I want to show you guys what I'm seeing. The first cast I threw out landed on uh, some bait fish, scared them, jumped out of the water. Pose to go along with my folders, can cause there's holes that I can't patch in my freaking bowl. Yes, sir, it's time to go. No livers, menders, or soap. I'm a bass man, so when I'm the captain, we'll wrap the large mouth. You on a roll. I guarantee you to be a hell of a time. Sip and shine, keep on keeping the biggins out on the lines. I don't mind leaving, even if it's at the midnight. I ain't leaving it light, the bites better at night. So if you decide to ride, hope you don't mind that I pack the lunch, had a crunch, you like light. So why grab some ice and ice down the bud line? Cheers, here's to the hill, really lie. Everything we catch, we're keeping. Speaking to keep it, can you keep a secret? I don't need another fire. All right, guys, it's getting kind of late, so full moon's coming out. That's probably why they haven't been hitting all day, so hopefully I can get a bite before I have to take off here in a little bit. I'm me deep in the woods, running from them for a week of weekends. Outlaw status, I ain't a deacon. Backsliding Baptist while they preaching, I'm fishing. In the middle of nowhere, and there's nowhere that I'd rather be. Nowhere that I'd rather be. So I need to come back here with a kayak or something because it's just really hard to cast 
from the bank here. We got so much vegetation. So right now I just got my lure stuck in this bush down there and it's it's got thorns all over it. This is gonna be fun. Can't leave my whopper plopper though. All right guys, well, we didn't catch no fish, but we definitely found a, another pond to fish at, so that's all that really matters. And we did meet those two guys. They're pretty cool dudes, and we shared some stories, and honestly, that's a good enough day for me. So we got another pond to fish, and that works. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you're liking what you're watching. Thanks.